this is Daniel from Adorama Pro. Today on the set, we're going over some noir lighting for portraits and filmmaking. Uh, we're going to have Dave here. Uh, we're going to do a nice noir portrait of him. We're going to start off, uh, backlighting is really a key uh, component of that, so we're going to start with the light behind him. This is an Arri 300 for Nell. It's equipped with some barn doors so we can shape the light. We're basically going to take this light fixture and create the, the edge light that's going to define our subject. So I'm going to close the barn doors down a little bit because I want to make sure my background stays dark. And I'm basically going to streak the light across to get it into a spot where it's going to look nice. When I'm building these lighting scenarios, I try to not turn all my lights on at once. I want to work with one light at a time to get them exactly where I want them. I'm going to have Dave looking a little bit to his right. Although actually with the light on your nose, maybe it would go away if you were wearing a hat. Perfect. He's essentially going to fall into shadow in, in his face, which we'll take care of in a minute. But before we do that, another key feature of Noir is to have some kind of a pattern or, or geometric shapes in the background. So we can use the data light back here with the projector to add that. Right here is a, uh, a data light at DLH4 head equipped with a DP1 projector. You can do a lot of things with these projectors, but what we're going to do is put a pattern I've got a couple of gobo patterns to work with. We're gonna see which one works better. This one's kind of a urban environment. This is streaks of light. They simply fit into the projector. Like this. And then down here is my power control. Turn it on. Now you can put your project projection onto the background, adjusting the size just by moving the light back and forth. You can adjust the angle by turning it. I can also dim it or we'll bring out the power depending on our what we like. These can be used actually, I can focus the, or defocus the pattern in the background as I like. In Noir, things typically are sharp, so I'm gonna keep it nice and sharp. And we'll see how that looks. Good. Okay, so if I were to make a photo right now, Dave's essentially gonna be completely in shadow. That's gonna be my base and we'll go from there. Again, this is kind of nice, it's giving him the shape, but I'm not getting any light in his face. For that, we're gonna use another data light with framing shutters. Framing shutters will allow us to really control, kind of like barn doors, but a lot more precise. They're gonna come in front of the light and really control that spill. So we'll take this data light here. This is just like the other data light, except it has a built-in ballast, as opposed to a handheld one. Framing shutters go in. So these are, you when they're used, they're, they're upside down and backwards. So anybody who's used to a large format camera will be able to use these right away. If not, it takes a little bit of practice, but you can see I'm able to control how narrow a beam I want on his face. I just want to get his eyes in the shot, so I'm gonna bring it up here. I don't want it on the background so much, so I'm just going to adjust my angle. And the other thing I can do is I can control the power output to bring it where I want. I can be really dramatic with it. I can go down. I can also control how sharp the line of it is, if I want a really stark, hard line, or if I want it to be more diffuse. I think for this case, we're going to make it diffuse, a little bit more subtle, and adjust my exposure a little bit. Okay, so let's take a look. There we go. So I just brought it down a little bit. This, he's got this kind of grizzled feel. It's kind of nice. And that's how you make a noir portrait with three lights. Uh, two data lights, one Ari. We'll see you next time on set.